Hello Pisces, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts, focusing on a potential reconciliation between someone that you are in separation from at this time, between the two of you. So is it time to focus on a reunion or is it time to let them go? Let's take a look and see what presents itself here, Pisces. And it is general as always, guys, all right? So starting with these three decks here, the Sacred Karmic Shadow Work Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. This is the Divine Masculine Within My Head deck by Fire Witch Tarot. And this is the Divine Feminine Confessions deck by Bridget of Divine Essentials. So let's take a look and see the direction that this goes here for you, Pisces, if there is a reconciliation or is it time to release this person. So starting with this deck here, what are in the shadows when it comes to the connection? What could be challenging the partnership? I'm guided to this card. Well, you're dealing with somebody that was being deceitful with you. Maybe you guys had trust issues in the partnership. This particular card in this deck, it's picking up off of the devil energy. Very similar vibe where there's deception and maybe someone who's feeling bound to you or it could go the other way too where you're feeling bound to someone so let's go ahead and add to that and see what else you need to know at this time all right so for the masculine let's take a look and see what the message is angels and spirit guides please for pisces i'm guided to this card right here I only wish to satisfy and make you smile. But if they're being deceitful, they might be coming from a place of if inauthenticity at this time. Pisces were not being they're not being open and honest with you somehow, wanting to make you happy, wanting to satisfy you, but at the same time they're not being up upfront and honest is what's coming through there. So we'll have to see how it presents itself with the rest of the cards and the messages. So from the Divine Feminine here, let's go ahead and grab a message. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Pisces. I'm guided immediately to this one. I can't say goodbye. I don't want to give up on you. I see you're special and rare. Okay, so this is how you see your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So what's up with that energy of deceit, being deceitful? And also, what I'm getting for some of you is there could be some codependent energies here between the two of you. The Feminine, you can't seem to detach, you can't seem to say goodbye to your Masculine. So let's add to this. I'm going to go ahead and pull some additional cards from my Silhouettes deck here. Let's see what else needs to come through. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Pisces. Someone's being deceitful. Look at this. We've got point of view. You've turned my world upside down. You know, and that point of view could be a positive point of view or a not so positive point of view. It really depends on how you're seeing things and how they see things from their perspective. It kind of reminds me of the hanged man's energy because sometimes with the hanged man, we need to let someone go and release them from our lives in order to take a step back and really see things from a very different angle giving us more of a bit of clarity perhaps and a breakthrough on how you see this person because sometimes when we're being or interacting with somebody and we're with them 24 7 sometimes we don't always see the full picture because we're so invested and so i'm feeling here for some of you you need to take a step back in order to be able to see things a lot clearer than how you have been let's see what else What else here? Look at that, guys. The apocalypse represents a tower moment. So something fell apart here between you and your person, Pisces, because they were being dece deceitful. You couldn't trust this person. 
there were red flags here. And maybe you guys ignored those red flags. For the Divine Feminine, you know, I can't say goodbye. But clearly, with a Tower moment, you guys had to go your separate ways. We do have sexual appetite here. It's just a matter of time before we cave into this intense hunger. So perhaps the physical connection could have been really strong and that part of your relationship was very passionate and magnetic, but there's something that's a little bit off balance here as far as communication and how you guys were interacting with each other. Let's add to this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck. This is a deck by Pretty Spirits. It's the Truths Edition or Reconciliation Edition from the Truths deck. So a tower moment. And it turned their world upside down. Absolutely. That's what a tower moment will do. It's chaos. It's perhaps a, an unexpected, devastating event that happened here. It could have been an unexpected breakup for some of you. You didn't see it coming, but the sexual appetite, the passion, the way you guys desired each other sexually, that certainly is here, but there, it has to be more than that, you know? Look within, okay? This is reminding me of the Hermit card in Tarot, where you got to look within, soul search, figure out what's going on and how to move on from this tower moment. Focus on yourself, perhaps. In the meantime. Because the thing with the tower moments that we experience in our lives, there's always lessons attached to those experiences. And if you don't learn from past mistakes, it could be a repetitive pattern that keeps resurfacing until you do learn that lesson. We have a time frame here within a year. Look at this, followed by within one month. I forget which sign I was doing, but these two cards came up together also. So either something's gonna happen within a month from now, for some of you, where you might get clarity in regard to this connection, whether there will be a possibility for a reconciliation or not, it could take as long as a year for some of you, or you add those two time frames up together and it's a little over a year. And then this is the next card. Finding balance, which I feel is crucial and it's much needed here between the two of you. So it could take as long as a year to be able to restore balance in your life, Pisces. After having experienced something this difficult and catastrophic in your relationship with this person because they weren't being honest. So it's time for you to be honest with yourself. And have patience. If this is meant to find its way back to you, it could take about a year or for some of you it could happen sooner than that. We'll have to see. Alright, so let's add some tarot to this. This is my newest tarot deck. This is my Tabby Tarot Teacher. This is my Tabby. This is my Jingles right here. And this deck is dedicated to her. We lost her February of this year. She ended up getting um, lymphoma and she passed from that. So we miss her each and every day. So this deck focuses on a very similar format from my Tarot Teacher deck as well as the modern day Sears tarot deck designed for those who would like to learn how to read tarot. So a portion of the proceeds from this deck will be donated to various animal charities. If you're interested in helping out with and supporting this deck, I'd appreciate that. And as always, I will provide links down below for any of the decks that you do see here today. So Pisces, let's go ahead and add to this. So we've got the Nine of Swords, but I kind of feel, you know, it was coming up this way, so I kind of feel it was coming up in the reverse. That's how I'm guided to read this. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So 
in the upright, if you relate to that, this is tapped into our fears, our anxieties, somebody who's losing sleep over this. This is insomnia, unable to just rest their mind. Maybe you're able to relate to that for yourself, feeling hopeless, having been traumatized by something like that apocalypse, that tower moment, feeling depressed. However, I do feel that it was wanting to come up in the reverse. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel here. You've already been through the darkness. So it's time to welcome in the light. There's hope here. And also perhaps you're learning new skills on how to better cope with what life has handed you, Pisces. So I do feel you are moving past this energy of the Nine of Swords where when this apocalypse, when this tower happened, when the breakup happened, it was devastating, it was painful. And maybe you didn't see it coming, could have been really unexpected. But I do see and feel that you are recovering from this. We do have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so we've got Earth coming through here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is about putting in hard work towards this partnership. And if that hard work and dedication is put in, if that effort has actually been put in by both of you, then there's absolutely a chance for you guys to work this out. That's where the balance comes in. But clearly with that apocalypse and tower, you guys had a very painful ending here. It's betrayal. It's backstabbing because they were being deceitful. However, look at the next card. You've got the Ten of Cups. So even though you've had a very painful ending with this person and you've had that tower moment, Pisces, perhaps there's a possibility for a reunion here. You've got two tens right next to each other here. So this is letting us know perhaps that there's certain cycles that will be completing. And part of those cycles has to do with the past and what happened here. That's why it's going to take a while possibly again as long as a year for some of you to be able to heal from this to be in a much much better headspace to welcome in a new chapter perhaps so it makes sense to me pisces that we've got this seven of pentacles because that hard work will eventually pay off so i i do love the progression of these cards as long as you guys persevere and you're diligent towards the efforts that you both put in to restore balance in this partnership things will eventually fall into place. So going back to these two cards, the two time frames that get, did come through within a year and within one month. Okay, so you just have to wait and see how it goes. And that's exactly what the Seven of Pentacles is about. It's one of those situations where you can't rush it. It's going to happen if it's meant to. So you got to just wait and see how this all unfolds. All right, Pisces. So let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here. I'm going to pull from my Heavenly Hearts Oracle. So let's go ahead and find out what your person is thinking, what's in their heart space when it comes to you. Since the separation, since the breakup, painful breakup is what's presenting itself here. And perhaps now that you guys have had more time to reflect on how things went down. Going back to these messages, we have a masculine here who still wants to be able to bring that smile back when it comes to the feminine, to be able to satisfy the feminine. And Divine Feminine, despite what's happened here between you and your person, your masculine, there's a part of you that maybe in your heart of hearts, you just could not say goodbye. Even if you had to say goodbye in a 3D world, energetically vibrationally you guys are still connecting so let's see what do you guys want to say to each other okay your lips your tongue tastes like honey i can't get enough of your sweet kisses not surprising right considering we have sexual appetite that came through earlier it's just a matter of time before we cave into this intense hunger and i really do feel you guys still desire one another 
my love for you is endless. Our union has been heaven sent. Your heart beats in rhythm with mine. And lastly, you don't have to touch me to touch me. Okay, whether, of course, that's a physical sexual reference or just being able to touch each other in the sense that the love certainly is there, the passion, the, the way you guys still want each other to be in each other's lives, you know, to touch each other in the 5D perhaps until you can be physically together in the 3D world. Okay, so wrapping things up here, Pisces, let's go ahead and grab a song. I'm going to pull from my heart songs of the 90s deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Pisces. All right, let's see. Can You Stop the Rain by Peebo Bryson. Here's another morning without you. Here's another day. Will I get through it without breaking down? Haven't seen the sun since you've been gone. Like my heart, I lost it when you left me and it can't be found. How can I go on? Baby, I'd be living on memories of you and me. All the love we made, all those tender nights and those endless days, they're all here inside. Okay, so clearly they miss you. They think about you. I also feel that they have a lot of regrets over how things unfolded and when that tower moment happened and the separation and the breakup unexpected for some of you. Let's grab one more song. One more song. Yeah, this kind of this song makes sense for me. Okay, because this is If You Had My Love by Jennifer Lopez. And because we have deceitful right here, there could have been infidelities in the partnership. That's just the reality of it for some of you. So the lyrics say, if you had my love and I gave you all my trust, would you comfort me? And if somehow you knew that your love would be untrue, would you lie to me and call me baby? Now, if I give you me, this is how it's got to be. First of all, I won't take your cheating on me. Tell me who can I trust if I can't trust in you and I refuse to let you play me for a fool. And that is why it's going to take a good chunk of time for some of you for perhaps a reconciliation or reunion or even just a conversation to just be civil with one another before that can happen. Because you guys experienced the tower. It was a bunch of red flags that perhaps was trying to grab your attention before that tower even happened. And lastly, we have I Can Love You Like That by All For One. I would make you my world, move heaven and earth if you were my girl. I will give you my heart, be all that you need, show you your everything that's precious to me, if you give me a chance. Okay, so this particular song is letting us know that it could have been the masculine who cheated on the feminine, who was deceitful, and now all they want to do is bring that smile back and to be able to do anything and everything to satisfy the feminine. That is what's coming through here. All right, Pisces, so whatever made sense here in this reading for you, I do hope it helps you out. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.